Well, hello again. Uh, this is Michael from Jessic Biking. Uh, let's see. I've seen uh, in doing my research um, a lot of videos on how to paint a rim. Well, I've only seen two of them, but um, I have found a way to make rim painting a little easier because. Um, well, I'm going 67 up there, and I got arthritis in my hands, and it's hard for me to hold a wheel for any period of time. So, after some time up there, I found uh, one way. It didn't quite work out, but it gave me, led me on to an idea. I strapped a bungee cord from my Raptor on a cross member and um, um, spun it where uh, it would run freely, but it, it tend to want to wobble from side to side. So uh, One day I was working on a bike up there and I noticed the wheel was going around. Uh, I was checking it for balance. And this gave me an idea. Basically what I did was I put the wheel on the front fork. Now this is a bike. If I get a little paint on it's no big deal because I'm going to sand it down and paint it anyway. This is my fifth uh, steampunk bike project coming along. But when I do paint a rim, I usually paint it all the way through because uh, it's a theme idea that the rims are black and the spokes are black. So therefore, uh, I paint the spokes and the rim, but for those who want to just paint the rim itself and forego the spokes, I cut me out a template using a uh, paper plate to, um, now you might have to do some uh, little cleaning up, but it's better than having to wrap each spoke with uh, tape. It's very labor intensive and for all intents and purposes, um, a lot harder to do, like I said, for someone my age up there with arthritis and my hands cramp up and uh, I'm a little good for the rest of the day. So basically what I did is um, I sanded all down the rims, the, the inside, and sanded down all the spokes because I'm going to paint the spokes too. But for those who just want to um, uh, just paint um, the rim itself. Come on. Basically, spin the rim. Makes it nice and easy. And I found that my paint jobs on the rims are a lot better because they they tend to um, be more uniform. Not uh, some places I have it caked up too much, other places I don't have it enough. So basically, for me, this will, this will be a rim that I'll use. And uh, so this is kind of a work in progress. And when I spin it, And then what I'll do is, whoop, one of the catastrophes of working live. And what I'll do is after I get done, I'll take the axles apart and clean out the bearings and uh, make sure there's no paint in the bearings. And then I can uh, re, -re them. For me, this makes it a lot easier.
Sometimes you have to go on the inner side. And for me, the rim is done. I don't have to worry about spending time taping off all the, the uh, spokes. And uh, I'm using, it's a uh, Crown Color Master. It's a primer and paint, so I'm killing two birds with one stone. Not only if I'm priming it, this is the color I want, a satin black. And then what I'll do, which will be the labor intensive part if I decide, what I'll do is I'll paint the nipples, the tuning nipples up there, a brass to set them off. And one other time, um, I uh, took a paint stick, put a popsicle stick on the edge, and used it as a, uh, as a guide, and painted me a rim, around the rim, a bead of brass. But after a while, it wears off from the brake shoes, so that didn't turn out too good. But there it is. Uh, both sides done, the spokes are done. And... Um, this wheel is ready to go. All I have to do is uh, let it dry, and then uh, what I'm going to do is paint it with a um, um, uh, lacquer or a clear coat to seal it because, like I said, I'm using a uh, lighter background. So after a while, the brake shoes are going to wear through the black and start showing the, um, the blue, the base color. So until then, this is Michael from Jesse Baking, hoping that helps you out. Uh, like I said, you can experiment on your own uh, to get an idea of what works best for you. But for me, this is it. Bye.